What up, YouTube? Happy Monday. It's Monday again. Yeah, it's Monday again. And my summer is dwindling really quick. But I'm all washed. My face is um, clean, and so it's time for some moisturizer and all that jazz. So I'll wait for some people to show up. Hello, hello to whoever's in here. Hey, Charlene, how are you, honey? What is it with eyelash glue that, like, it never wants to let go of your face, like, days after you've worn falsies? Hey, Deb, how are you? Days after you've worn falsies, you still have little bits of glue all over you. I am doing good. Um, getting ready to go back to my classroom for phase three of unpack and put away. And today I think I'm going to finish the unpacking and the putting away. Hey, Kimberly, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? And then it's going to be starting the decorating process today. So that's the fun part. This year my theme is stand tall, stand out and pink. And I'm going to be using pink flamingos as my, you know, and aloha flowers and pretty tropical stuff. Hey, Jess. Hey, Tiffany. I just got through watching your video, Tiffany. And I just got through watching your video, Jessica. Your flapper or your 1920s video. Some health issues. I'm sorry. You know I know all about that. That's why I'm getting ready at 1130. Hey, Mich Michigander man. Um, getting ready at 1130 when I really wanted to be out of here by 10. Um, with fibromyalgia, mornings are not great for me. And so I have to kind of um, get the pain under control before I can move forward to do other things. So I guess that's Rob. Hi, Rob. Um, yeah, I've got nine Alex drawers there, or nine drawer, and then I'm on either side of me under my tabletop. I have, um, five drawers. And, uh, if you want to, Kimberly, I did do a vanity tour finally, so if you want to check it out, it'll show you. Oops, I'm trying to knock stuff over already. It'll show you, um, you know, everything from my view. I already had the Alex drawers, but they were where you couldn't see them, the nine drawers. I just added the five drawers because I needed stuff to be down um, where I could get to it while I'm filming. Oh man, I'm sorry. Hey, DC Kool-Aid and Lisa. Hey, Mace. How are you guys? Yeah, I'm actually on a basically no carb, high or moderate protein. Um, yeah, but yours looks really nice, Tiffany. Oh, stop. They're going by too fast. Yeah, they're really not terribly expensive, but if they're really expensive for you, then um, maybe just get one at a time. I can't remember how much the small ones are, but they weren't bad. I got everything... My tabletop, my two Alex drawers, um, my, what else did I get? Oh, I got two plastic sheet things that you put underneath your chair so that if stuff drops, it doesn't get on your carpet. Um, all of that was 265 or 270 something with uh, shipping. See, I've got lash glue, and that's from three days ago, and I've washed my face six times <laughs> since then. So forgive me, I'm going to try to get it off without hurting my eye. But yeah. And sorry to hear about you're in the hospital. I know that's no fun. I hate doctors. I hate hospitals. I hate all of it. Too much of it in my life. It does not want to come off. And you know that stuff like the Clinique take the day off or whatever, like the balms and the oils? I cannot use those. They put a film over my eyeball and it makes me look like I'm having blurry, or I feel like I'm having blurred vision all day when I do that. So I'm going to get a makeup wipe and just 
let it hang out there for a minute and see if I can loosen it up. So yeah, I'll be patched for a minute. So what are you guys up to today? Coconut oil. I have some, uh, I can't remember the name of it, the fancy smancy kind over here. If this doesn't work, I'll grab it. I don't gate anybody. No. I don't hate people, but I hate eyelash glue that won't let go. <laughs> yeah, I hope you I hope you will get out soon. Hey Diaz thing, nice to see you. And how are you feeling, Deb? I think I asked you, but I don't know if I saw your answer. Hey Cha. And no, I don't hate anybody. I'm not all about the love. I'm not about the hate. That's for dang sure. Hey, Lily, how are you? I'm in the process of trying to get off remnants of eyelash glue. I have a video going up tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure that one where I have a funny little uh, clip about eyelash glue. So, wait till you see it. Like, I felt so stupid after, after what happened. I felt so stupid. Okay, I'm, I've almost got it. Uh, so you've got something up your nose right now? That would drive me insane. I cannot believe like how bright the veins on my eyelids look today. Probably because I'm assaulting it right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put on some lip masks so that can be making um, my lips all soft and, and nice while I'm getting ready. I try to be. There's too much hate in the world. There's too much ugliness in the world. There's too much unkindness in the world. I am not about that. And so I figure I'll do what I can to put love out there and the opposite of all that mess that people get all caught up in. In the summertime, I don't love, I don't always wear perfume, but I'm in love with this Boom Boom cream and how this smells. So I put it all over my arms and my legs and my neck. So whenever I get outside and it's like 115 and I st it starts melting, I smell like heavenly tropical paradise. So if you want to know what I smell like, it's heavenly <laughs> tropical paradise. Hey, Terry Lee, how are you? I'm too nice, huh? You think I'm a doormat? Let me just tell you something. Um, my nickname in college was Miss Thang, and it was... I, I earned that title because I'm very tolerant and it takes a lot to make me mad. But when my monkey switch gets flipped, like, there is no turning back. So I give everybody a warning. I'm like, okay, all right, you want to keep on going? Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I don't think I would ever do anything to, um, and entice somebody into a disagreement or an argument but I'm also number one not going to be disrespected number two you're not going to try to talk to me like you've lost your dang mind and because no no and so the bad part is my friend Antoine says that I go get a ghetto gangster <laughs> when I get mad and you know I'm not proud of that I'm laughing at it but I, I, I can go there but that happens very infrequently, and when it does, I'm always ashamed of myself, and I always feel bad that I lost control. Like, I do not like being controlled by anger or hatefulness. I don't even like, I don't even like feeling those emotions, and I'm the one who decides if I'm going to allow that to take over. I do not play. I do not play. But, you know what? People treat you how you allow them to treat you. Hey, Glitz. Yay, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, you know, you have to set boundaries with certain people. And it's hard to uphold those boundaries sometimes, especially, especially when you love someone. But I'm kind of that person who has the rule that if someone doesn't enhance my life, if someone doesn't, you know, contribute into my life, they're steadily pulling out of it and never putting anything into it, then that, those are the people that I have to create boundaries with and, you know, limit, <laughs> limit their interaction in my life. Yeah, exactly, Mace. Exactly. 
I ain't got time for it. Okay, I am going to put on some foundation. Yeah, I have a very small circle, and I have a very small circle on purpose. And for the most part, um, you know, I know my circle. Obviously, there are times I get blindsided and surprised whenever somebody treats me unfairly or badly or with, you know, doesn't consider my thoughts or feelings. Um, that really surprises me, especially when that comes from people that I love. <laughs> I'll put my glasses on after I'm done, but I'll put them on for a second just for you. It's like, boom, instant teacher. <laughs> hey, Sylvie. And Glitz, I don't know. I really want to play with my um, Norvina again, but I have a First Impressions collab video that hasn't gone up yet. Do you think it matters? Hey, Biddy Boo Brown, haven't seen you in a while. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Don't forget to thumbs me up. I am rushing to that 4,000 hours. I'm getting really close, and I haven't had much time to... Um, to be live and the times that I've tried to be live I've seen like other people that are kind of in my group on and I don't want to interfere with their time but it's getting to the point where if I don't just go when I have time I'm not gonna have time and I really want to catch up with you guys I'm so sorry Biddy Boo Brown I don't want to just call you Biddy and I missed you too Gliss I can't believe that you changed your name and that's all it took for me to not see that you were uploading and I love Norvina. Um, you know, it's... Let me show you what I'm using. Super Stay by Maybelline mixed with Healthy Foundation by um, Physician's Formula. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Norvina. Uh, you have to treat it just like... Okay, Dana. <laughs> you have to treat it just like you would any other Anastasia palette. You have to dip in lightly. You have to tap off. And you have to go in slow. And people who aren't willing to finesse it aren't going to like it. And if you're expecting, everything comes off a lot more subtle than it looks in the pan. And so if you're expecting, you know, wow, bright colors, you're probably not going to have that. Everything's really whimsical and fairy-like. Um, and so if that's what you're looking for, you guys know me. I love the pink. I love pink and sparkly. So this is like, if I would have picked a palette, if I would have picked colors for a palette, it would probably look really similar to this. And that's cool, Reinvent, reinventing yourself, Glitz, that's cool. You, Yeah, you should if you get a chance. I, I really was going to wait until it came to Ulta and get it with points, but I actually knew this was coming and had already budgeted out the money for it, even though I'm on a low buy. Um, you know, I'm an ABH fan, I'm an ABH collector, and so I'm not going to let it pass. But I'm being really choosy with the palettes that I buy. I'm comparing it to my, um, comparing it to what I already have and making sure I'm not buying like multiples of the same thing over and over again, which is what I was doing for a while. But you guys will see whenever I do, I'm going to start doing my palette collection. I'm going to do it by brand. You guys will see that I have a lot of palettes that look almost identical to each other. And I lost my 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 f -f 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 my Mac, Mac Fix Plus. It's in one of these drawers, so I gotta find it because I'm going in too heavy with this foundation, and I need it to be lighter. I guess I could use. Oh, here it is. Um, the other thing about the Norvina guys is um. I would really suggest glitter glue or um using Mac Fix Plus because it's going to make the shimmers even more shimmier, shimmerier. Yeah, I've never even tried Sugar Pill. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. It is totally my cup of tea. And so I'm totally happy. I'm, I'm super happy that I got it. Did you guys watch my Spin to Win video? I'm like looking at myself right now and I'm like, I love you, Beauty Blender. Like, I never want to be without this. I cannot believe I had to put foundation on with a MAC 242. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it because it's probably really funny. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool, Glitz. 
And yeah, I'm sure you love that stuff because you're so into color. I'm really getting more into color. But uh, yeah, so I don't even know what I'm going for. I guess I'll use the Norvina if you guys want me to. I've got the Manny palette over here. I've got a couple of Jeffree Star palettes. Um, I've got my Marvelous Mauves by Dose of Colors. The ones that are scented, um, Tiffany, are the ones that have glimmer in them. Okay, I'll use the Norvina. I have, um, I have the Lavender, the Coconut, and whatever the other one is in minis, and I haven't tried them yet. But, um, because I'm trying to finish this bottle, and it's just the regular. I love the way the regular one smells. Hey, Pritch fam. Tell me your name again. Sarah? I think it's Sarah. Um, do you want to know if it's good as far as scent or if it's as good as far as function? Hey, Isis. Isis is one of my former students who has left my school now. Good to see you, Sarah. How's your summer going, Isis? Okay, I think I've put on enough here. But yeah, I don't know if I saw you answer, Tiffany, if you want to know. Because, like, I'll open one of those next if you're really curious about it. Thank you, Mace. Yes, I'm a second grade teacher. I'm a transcriptionist. And a makeup instructor. Oh, got you. Okay. I will open it next. I don't know if it's going to be soon enough for you to have the information you need before you need to buy one, but I'll try. But just like this, I have the Fix Plus. Um, good gravy, you guys. This is what happens. I talk and I don't do my regular stuff. I've completely forgot primer until just now. Yeah, you can. But I have the Coconut Smashbox Primer Water. I'm just going to spray it over this. See what happens. I've never done that before. But. I would take a bath in this if I could, you guys. It smells so good. I have the Coconut one and I have the Greens one that smells like cucumbers. Yeah. I miss you too, honey. What have you been doing? Swimming, hanging out, hanging out in front of, um, <laughs> in front of screens like you are right now. I hope you're going swimming and stuff. Ooh, my, my bobby pin is coming out of my head. But yeah, I don't know if that's going to be good what I just did, but oh well. No primer. Here's the thing. I'm getting ready to go to my classroom and get probably sweaty and yucky and so like I don't know why I'm really doing this other than the fact that I just want to play so I've been doing a concealer cocktail I use three different ones I use a color and I just threw it at myself color corrector um, Tarte Maracuja creaseless shape tape and then I use the makeup revolution one for the base on my, eye, on my eyelid so yeah Did you have one of the scents um, glitz where you can tell Tiffany if it was worth it? But I guess you don't have the right, or you haven't had the regular one to compare it to, maybe. Anyway. Concealer Heaven. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Concealer Excess. You had the rose scent. That's the other one I have. Are you talking to me, Charlene? About me not being able to use the, do the ring light. But I'm trying to come up with another place in my house to film. Or maybe, I guess somebody else said something about the ring light. I missed it, I'm sorry. Um, gotta find the brush for my concealer. Oh, what happened, Glitz? Oh no. Am I still here? I'm getting all these messages. Oh, it broke. 
I'm sorry, honey. That sucks. Like, I have my lighted mirror lights on full blast right now. It still doesn't show me as bright as I'd like it to, but it's, um, and it's hot. And this is the creaseless maracuja, and it is not creaseless for crepey eyes like mine, but it's emollient, and the coverage is awesome, and, uh, when I mix it with tart, it helps with it being, not being too dry. Oh, cool. You, Terry Lee, you and Glitz are going to have to get together and you can tell them how you did it. Oh, gotcha. Alright, I like to use these really dense paddle brushes to um, just kind of tap this out. If you use a beauty blender, it makes it into a very weird consistency. So, I don't do that until I get everything on. Oh, okay. I would love that too. Here, is it a tabletop one though, Terry? What I'm trying to do is kind of maybe have a tabletop ring light on my vanity or somebody else suggested I get shadow box lights and just put them on either side of me because they I have a little space on either side that they could fit. And so I think I'll probably try that first. And if that doesn't work, maybe try to get a tabletop ring light that can go right behind my tripod. Yeah, gotcha. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you guys. I, I don't know why, it just feels like I haven't seen anybody in the longest. I've been really busy working in my house and, um, you know, just trying to spend time with people that I don't get to see very often. And so I just put a couple dots of shape tape and bounce that right into the inner where I'm really dark. Okay, that sounds great, Blitz. I would love that. And I just kind of spread this with this, and then once I get it a little bit spread out, I go in with the Beauty Blender. Gotcha. Well, I'll be looking for that video because I'm interested. I kind of wonder if there's not something I can do with my ring light that's on a tripod, like make it so short. I mean, now that everything is different in my beauty area, um, right, I, yeah, I knew you were talking to him. <laughs> I don't know if I was saying thank you to someone else or what. Yeah, mine was too. I can't even remember how much I paid for it, but it was way less than $100. And when I went to go price those shadow box lights, I, on Amazon there was a set of two with the bulbs, um, with different reflectors on two tripods uh, with a remote, and it was like $54. So I don't think that's unreasonable, but like I'm on a low buy for a reason. I'm saving money. I'm trying to save money for a camera. I have to get a new phone. Um, I have a car tag. <laughs> right. It's funny because you think you want to be at home and then whenever you're stuck at home, you're like, oh my gosh, when can I get out of here? Um, but I don't think that's an unreasonable price, but I have lots of expenses plus everything I have to buy for my classroom. And so that's the reason why. That's not bad at all. I can't even remember. I think mine is... N-E-W-E-R or something was the brand. And I'm really happy with it. I just can't put it in front of me where if you saw my vanity, my everything is right up against a wall. So I can't I can't put it there. <laughs> so anyways, I'll figure it out eventually. I just do a few things one thing at a time, try it, and if it works, stick with it. And if it doesn't, move on. But yeah, guys, I have three weeks until I have to go back to school. And that's just how it works. Like at the beginning of the summer, it doesn't seem like it's going by fast. But then I blink my eyes and it's July. And then I blink my eyes and July's almost over. And I'm going to go into morning. But right now I'm trying to pre-film a bunch of videos that aren't time sensitive and get those 
in my YouTube arsenal so that I have some backup videos for times at the beginning of the school year where I get super busy. I hear you. What year are you in school, um, Blitz? <laughs> I know. Parents and teachers and kids have way different perspectives. I haven't, but someone has someone has suggested that to me. Like they're like like a ring light. Um, they said, "Why don't you get one of those cell phone ring lights?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I never thought about that." Because that could probably I don't know if it would obstruct my camera on my phone, but that would probably work to just add some brightness. <sighs> But I just love having these Alex drawers to the side of me right below. So everything I need is right there. I don't have to get up 14 times. It's all right where I need it. And I love that. A junior. You are. I went to cosmetology when I was in high school. Um, my junior year, I went to uh, high school for three hours. And Votech is at a vocational school for two hours. And then... Um, I think so. Yeah. I would think they would be since um, you're probably using them to take pictures. But I also like, you know, I do mine horizontally. So I'm not sure. But my junior year, I am, um, I mean, my senior year, I went to, to high school for two hours and I went to Votech for four and then we kind of went into the summer. So, uh, I had to get a thousand hours. I don't know how it works now. Yeah, I have, that's part of that. Oh, I feel like I have a hair on my nose and I'll itchy a bit. Um, yeah, that shadow box thing comes with those reflectors. But I had to get a thousand hours and then I took my, my test, um, the summer after my second year. And so I've been licensed since 1989. Yeah, the state exam. And so I'm so thankful that I was able to do my cosmetology out of Otech where I didn't have to pay for a thing. Like I had to buy my kit. I had to buy um, my uniforms and stuff like that. But like the actual classes were part of, you know, the vocational program with our high school. And I've known so many people who did it, you know, just went to beauty school, just went to a um, individual beauty school. And when it was all said and done, it ended up costing them about $1,500. And this was like, you know, 20 years ago almost. So I can't imagine what it is now. But the cool thing now, I think, I don't know about your program, but the cool thing now, I think, is you can get a, make, you can get a license in makeup artistry. You can... Um, yeah, I'm 47. I just turned 47 in June. Um, you can get just a nail tech. You can, you know, you can specialize. When I was in school, you just got a general operator's license and it covered everything. Except you weren't like, you weren't considered a licensed makeup artist. Yeah. And I totally would have done that. I mean, had that been available at the time, I totally would have done that without a doubt. Um, so, yeah. But... Congratulations, I'm so glad. There were only four spots available when, um, whenever I was getting, whenever I applied for the program. And I am uh, gonna have as much time to study and can this person, you know, basically go train for a job and still uphold um, their grades and everything at their school. And, you know, all I had left my senior year was grand composition and, I don't know, Algebra 2 or Calculus or one of those, you know, torture device type of classes. That's all I had left. And so, and I had a 4.0. I didn't have a 4.0 after Calculus or Algebra 2 or whatever it was that ate my lunch. But at the time that I applied, I had a 4.0. And so that's what got me in. So I'm so thankful. I was so scared. I was scared to death. But... The, here's the sad part. I had a really close friend who wanted to do it as well, and I got in and she didn't, 
And after that, like, we weren't friends anymore. Like, she let that, she got so mad at me. Like, she expected me to not go because she couldn't go. And I'm like, I'm not going to let go of this um, opportunity. You know what I mean? But she, like, she literally stopped talking to me after that. Right. I think a lot of people, some people don't care. But some people really do care that somebody has some kind of credentials. So, I would imagine just the fact that I'm a licensed cosmetologist... Um, would probably make somebody feel as if they were in good hands. <laughs> well, thank you, Cha. I don't know about that, but I'm not loving the after 45 life. Not because I feel bad or old or anything like that. I just, you know, on my best day, I'm like a scared 12-year-old. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so funny because, yeah, Tiffany, you find out who your real friends are. And are not. Um, in fact, in high school, I like I went to high school and lost several friends. I had a group of friends that we were all tight through junior high, and apparently, a couple of them got together and had a conversation, and decided that my friend and I weren't cool enough to be part of their group anymore. <laughs> That's cool, Terry Lee. Um, and so, the minute we entered high school, they stopped speaking to us. So. The truth is, good riddance. You know what I'm saying? Good riddance. Because that's not a real friend. And if they thought we were so uncool that we were going to put a hitch in their giddy up, then whatever. All power to them. But uh, I had a lot of situations like that in school. I think that's probably why I am very choosy about friends. And I have very few that I let in close to me. Um, so yeah, I just missed all those messages. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I was no, I was so socially awkward in school. Like, the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you guys, if you had known me in high school, like, I was the one that wanted to blend into, <laughs> into the wallpaper. Like, I wanted to be a wallflower. I did not want to be seen or heard. And it's so funny because now I'm like, hi, I'm here. Look, it's Sherry. I'm here. Look at me. <laughs> So it's so funny that it's so different. So different. But that's cool. And I don't really care. I cared then. But I really could give a rip now. I really don't care what anybody thinks of me. I don't let that define me. I define myself. Um, and there comes Miss Thing. Like, you're not going to tell me who I am. You're not going to tell me how I feel. You're not going to tell me how I'm supposed to be, and if what I do and how I look is wrong, sorry, don't look at me. <laughs> That's the way I feel about it. So, I don't know. Something switched, some, something flipped in me, and once I got past that hating my, myself thing, like, there was no going back. I'm going to use um, Dazzled by Tarte for my blush. Hey, Nine Kelly Bears. I am. I'm doing great. I'm here with good friends chit-chatting about life and makeup, and that's a happy spot for me. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm sure, but, you know, don't let anybody hinder what is important to you, and, and don't let anybody else define who you are. Everybody always asks, you know, people, my hair is like a fuzzy afro back here in the kitchen. Um, people always ask me, like, is there anything that you would change about your life? And I'm a strong believer in, um, you know, things that happen to you happen for a reason and it shapes who you are and it, it moves you forward to the next thing that God has for you. And, you know, there was a, what a, a message that my, one of my preachers preached called, it had to happen. And I really believe that. I really believe that things have to have to happen to shape you into whatever God has next for you. And even even not good things. But when people ask me if there's anything I would change, um, I always say no, except I wish that I didn't spend the majority of my life hating myself. Because there's no telling what I could have accomplished if I had had a little bit of faith in myself. But, you know, we all 
have a evolution of life and we change and grow and evolve and I mean it just happened for me when I was in my 40s instead of when I was 18 yeah I used to think God I just wish I could not be so sensitive I wish that everything didn't affect me emotionally so hardcore and then I think I finally just accepted it and said if I didn't if I wasn't sensitive and I didn't feel things so deeply and so genuinely, then I wouldn't be sensitive or compassionate or empathetic to other people. And even though that causes me a lot of pain in my life to be that way, I still wouldn't want to be cold and hateful and not care about anybody else either. I miss that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I just, you know, I'm in a good place in my life. I really am. You know, it, I'm just living proof that, you know, you can go through divorce. You can have a lifelong weight problem. You can have been bullied. You can, um, you know, have a really bad high school experience. You can go through all this stuff. You can have people that you really love betray you and hurt you. I mean, all those things can happen, and you can still be standing at the end of it like, like a boss, you know, <laughs> it's like you can, you can make it through it all. You know, I even have a chronic illness. Like I go through all these things. I have all these things. You know, my husband is chronically ill. We have a lot of things that we're dealing with, but at the end of the day, God is still good. I, I am still blessed and I'm just really happy at, with what place I'm at in my life right now. And where in the devil is my, oh, heh, here it is. I've been looking for my Makeup Geek Starlight Highlighter. I have not, Lily. And yeah, it's a giant, giant bottle or tube. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very guarded until I get to know someone. But once I get to know someone, I am full on open book. If I feel like I can trust that person with my heart. If that makes sense. Yeah, for sure, Dana. I, I get that. You know, I don't know. When I was growing up, it was okay to talk about somebody's race. I mean, it was okay to talk. Like, later on, once I got into high school, it got better. Like, where, you know, there wasn't much racial stuff. But it was always, until I was fully into adulthood, it was, it was okay for people to make fun of other people's weight. And you know what, the thing that was so sad about it is I didn't need anybody to make me feel insecure about my weight. I beat my own self up over it. Like, I was so self-conscious that if I was in a hallway and I heard somebody laugh, I just assumed they were laughing about me. And they could have been laughing about 14 other things. I just made myself a, a highlighter mustache. I went up way too high. This because went on that spin to win thing I like messed up my highlighter brush it's got lipstick I had to put my lipstick on with this and so I messed it up and now this big giant one I guess I'm just gonna have a really glittery top lip <laughs> but anyways it was still like acceptable people didn't think there was anything wrong with making fun of fat people because it was our fault that we were like this. Like, it's because we were gluttonous. It was because we had no control. It's because all these things. And they figured, you're the cause of that, so it's okay for us to make fun of you. For sure, Charlene. So, I'm glad that some of that is, is better. And, of course, you know, I've lost about 130 pounds. I have a long way to go. But I've lost a bunch of weight since I started into this journey years and years and years ago. Um, and the other day, I was watching a show. Hang on. Yeah, it's so sad. Um, I was watching this show on the Learning Channel called My 600 Pound Life. And I never got to that point. I was never that size. But I was so heartbroken for these people. I was full on crying my face off the entire time. I felt so heartbroken for these people. And I was just like, gosh, I wish I could just tell you 
some things that helped me and some things that worked for me and and that losing this weight isn't going to change the condition of your heart. You've got to work on what's going on inside here because the weight is just a symptom of what's going on in here. And until you deal with this and this, the weight is irrelevant. Oh my gosh. I know, I wish I was that fat too. And I thought I was a cow when I was in, in like fourth and fifth grade, I was 125 pounds. And I thought I was a giant monstrous size and I had people telling me that I was all the time and so I just assumed that they were correct and I was also a foot taller than everybody else I was also developing boobs and everything else like I was just overly I was developing very very early and I just kind of went through that growth spurt thing height wise before everybody else and so I look like a giant and I did look bigger but I look at pictures now of myself then and I'm like oh my gosh I have thick legs and a booty but that's the way I'm made. Like, I could weigh 12 pounds and I'm still going to have thick legs and a booty. Like, I'm just built that way. And, you know, that's the part that just stays and that's fine. Like, now people are getting implants under their skin and their bum to have a butt like I already have. Like, that that drives me crazy. Like, when I was in school, the thing was to, um, to have no butt and be skinny as a string bean and have no body and no boobs like waifs like model waves and like that's people don't even want to look like that anymore but that was my dream and that was an unachievable dream like I was never gonna look like that you're born that way you're born string being straight and skinny and little like that like Kate Moss or Uma Thurman this you know and they're beautiful that way that's the way they're made but I'm not made that way I'm short and thick and I'm always gonna have a booty So yeah, bootylicious, that's me. <laughs> so anyway, I just wish I hadn't spent, I wish I hadn't been so self-conscious. I wish I could have had a Dear Younger Me letter that just said, you know what, these people that you're basing how you feel about yourself on right now are going to be, they're still going to have acne, they're still going to be ugly, they're still going to be all these things whenever you grow out of this or work your way out of this. Um, and, you know, their heart's still ugly. Gotcha. But it makes me laugh now that people do particular exercises and people wear particular clothes that have, like, padding and different things to push up their butt. I'm like, I hope this trend stays around forever because, you know, I don't even have to do any of that stuff and my butt looks that way, so... And I do not know why I'm having a conversation about my butt. But yeah. But it's funny how things change. And I'm so glad that people are more compassionate. I'm so glad that people have more tolerance. Like, everybody talks about all this prejudice and all these things. And I understand that they still exist. You know? Even after losing a hundred and something pounds total for me, I still get looked at and gawked at. And But you know what? Now I don't care. Like, I just smile at everybody. Um, I just, you know, you can look at me with some crazy eyes. Look at me like you think I'm disgusting. You can do whatever you want to. Knock yourself out. I'm just going to smile at you and say hi. Because if you, you know, hunker down and let somebody know that, you, that they've intimidated you, then they win. And for me, it's like, I'm going to be kind anyway. I'm going to be friendly anyway. I'm going to try to show love regardless of how I'm being treated. And it's not always easy. But that's just the way I approach life because I figure there's so much hate and ugliness out there. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to contribute to it. I wish I could tell my friend Courtney that I'm in here. Give me just a second, guys. I just want her to know. She'll be mad at me if she doesn't know. If 
any of you have Courtney Kirkland Kirkland Hale um, on Instagram or something, please tell her I'm live. I put it on everywhere, so she should be able to see it. All right, I didn't kick myself off, did I? <laughs> you get him. Hey, Evelina, you get him. You didn't, and I am so slow, I'm still doing my eyebrows, so I haven't even done, um, even gotten started on my eyes yet, which takes the longest. Okay, good. I just wanted her to know that I was on. But anyways, guys, especially you young folks, you are who God says you are. You are who you say you are. Not You are not defined by the opinions or the perspective of other people. That's okay. I appreciate you coming. If you guys haven't thumbs me, thumbs me, thumbed me up, please do that. I forget always to tell people to do that. That's the first thing I do when I go into a video or a live so that I don't forget. <laughs> Liz is going, going to sick them with the chair. <laughs> I know, but I'm talking about people who are in high school. Like, I look back on things that happened when I was in school and how, and I just think, my gosh, now you've got the whole added element of technology where one picture can run somebody's whole life where you cowards can hide behind screens and practically destroy someone and they never have to be accountable because they can hide and I'm so sad about all that and I can't believe like I don't know how I would have handled that like for instance if someone had taken a picture of me put it on Facebook and said look at this fat cow like I would have been suicidal I really would have been like that would have broken my heart there was a guy in school um, in my school who was gay and and wasn't out and he killed himself and in his letter that's the reason he's like I just knew that nobody would ever accept me in my whole life and I'm just like dude I just if you would just I would have like I do like wouldn't like I wish I could have just been your friend like when I hear those things it hurts my heart so badly because I'm like, oh my gosh, if I had just known. But I was also so guarded and so shy, and I didn't share any part of me with anybody else. And if I was struggling with something, I sure the heck didn't tell anybody. I didn't want to appear weak to anybody. Yeah. I, I mean, if anybody would have even tagged me or, or did something that was slightly cruel, I would have been completely terrible. Um, hey, Nicole, and hi, Courtney. But no, I'm just, I kind of, I don't know. I think we were talking about cosmetology and Glitz being able to get into cosmetology. And I was talking about my experience there. Um, and I was just so happy to be away from the high school. I was so happy that I didn't have to be there. I was so happy that I didn't have to be self-conscious. Because like in cosmetology, you're there like, you know, half your life with these people. And they become your sisters. And the time I was in beauty school, we didn't have any... Uh, males in our class but there was one in the afternoon class and um, so I'm sure it's different now I'm sure there's a lot more guys now than there was when I was in school but you know we're in Podunk Oklahoma too and I'm not sure if people like I don't know if if they would have prevented it so anyways young people do not let anybody else define who you are you decide you take ownership of your life you decide and anything they say to you just like screw you I'm fabulous like that's your response to everything that they say this means screw you I'm fabulous sorry you feel that way screw you I'm fabulous <laughs> Like, that should be your standard canned response to anything mean. Screw you, I'm fabulous. Everybody got it? I 
Repeat it back to me. <laughs> Do it. I so have to watch what I say whenever I'm on live because I, don't, I probably shouldn't even say that, but that's the way I feel about it. I just think that there are so many special and wonderful things about every single person that it's so sad that people are going to miss out on so many incredible human beings just because they've got to hang up on something stupid. That's right, Dana. Tell them. Tell them. And that's what we should have said to those people who, hey, Erica, it's who we, what we should have said to those people who um, were mean to us in high school. And the sad part is that a lot of times it's our own family. I mean, I was so sensitive, though, that even people like my mom, people who were trying to um, help me, and it was constructive criticism, constructive criticism, it still flipping hurt my feelings. Just that somebody was pointing it out, you know, that someone was even mentioning something about my weight. I was so inside myself. It, like, I can't even believe who I am right now. Because if you had known me then, you would not even believe that I would ever put myself in front of a camera. Much less, like, do it on purpose. And be happy to do it and can't wait to do it. <laughs> you know? Just shows you. You can move from one end of the pendulum all and swing all the way over to the other. And I tell people I was that I was shy. They're like, uh-huh. <laughs> sure you were. Oh my gosh. Painfully shy. Whenever I was a little girl, like I wished that I could just crawl like I would be hiding under my mom's arm and I wish I could just like crawl up under her where nobody could see me. If anybody spoke to me, like I wanted to go inside myself. <laughs> I'm serious, it was terrible. Yeah. You know what? All it took, Dana, all it took was for one person to say something to me about, and she was very unkind about it. Very, very unkind. But all it took was one person saying something to me about my weight. And prior to that, I, like, in my own mind, I had no idea that there was anything different about me. I was totally a tomboy. I played with all the boys. I mean, my dad's a baseball coach. I spent my whole life at a baseball field. You know, I played sports. My brothers played sports. My whole life was in a gym or at a baseball field. And so, being thin or pretty or girly or any of those things mattered none in that venue. <laughs> you go tell them screw you she's fabulous but anyways um they uh she was really cruel and my dad says now like I forgive her I already did before this but my dad said now that she was obese as a child and I guess she went through a lot of bullying and and she was doing it out of love apparently but she did it in such a way that like, all of a sudden, I'm like, there's something wrong with me. Like, prior to that, I thought I was fine. I thought everything I, about me was fine. I didn't question who I was. I didn't question if I was okay the way I was at all. But just her saying that, I mean, it was a major turning point. Like, from that point on, like, she turned on my self-conscious switch. And from then on, I was, like, so worried about what I was wearing and was it covering it. And, oh, my gosh, you know, she made, she really you know, did some damage to my self-esteem. You know what, Courtney? I don't think I can do it on the phone. Does anybody know how to add admin on the phone? I think you have. I would have to be on the computer to do it. Does anybody know? Oh, wow, there's filters. I can make myself look better, and I didn't even know it. Um, I don't see a way to do it. So, I'm going to have to, and now I can't get this to go back down. I'm going to have to do it the next time I'm in my office. So, remind me. I don't know how to do it here. Yeah. 
I had two big brothers. That's all I did was play in the mud piles, and I was flipping Princess Leia and play Star Wars and ride horses and, you know, that's all. But I never thought there was anything wrong with me until somebody told me there was. And so, I, I mean, honestly, I hated her. I, I hated her for making me feel that way about myself. Um, now, I don't hate her. I forgive her, and I appreciate that she saw me, you know, going down a road that she knew was going to cause me pain. Um, and she was trying to help me. She just went about it in the really, really, really wrong way. And the way she went, went about it very, you know, made it very obvious that she didn't know who I was. Because she, if she would have known how sensitive I was, if she would have known how, you know, easily my feelings got hurt, she would have known that she should have approached that in a much more gentle way. You know, my family always felt like they had to protect me. My brother got in fights with... Um, his teammates and stuff over me because when they would get into your mama contests you know somehow your fat sister always came into it and my brother was like I'll kill you <laughs> I'll kill you <laughs> talk about my sister you know but that makes me so sad I don't remember if I put on brow mascara I cannot talk and do anything at the same time did I just use this on both eyebrows were you guys actually looking at me Somebody tell me if I already did this. I think I did. Anyway. But yeah. Um, you know, my family tried to protect me. And I appreciate that. But I'm so sad that they had to. And I'm so sad that somebody looked at me and thought that they had the right to come in and just wreck my self-esteem. So, yeah, I am absolutely a defender of the week in every shape or form. Okay, I think I did the brow mascara, but I think I brushed it more than once. I end up taking half of this off. So, every chance you get to be kind to somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any chance you get to be kind to somebody, any chance you get to be empathetic and compassionate to someone, um, any chance that you get to lift a burden for somebody else, do it. Because so many times in my life I wanted to do something but didn't, thinking I was interfering or thinking I was being too forward with somebody or being, um, you know, making assumptions or whatever, and I wish that I had, you know, done it anyway. I wish I would have smiled anyway. I wish I would have hugged them anyway. I wish I would have asked them if they needed somebody to talk to anyway. Because I think a lot of us have those kind of hearts, but we don't necessarily act on them just because we're afraid what that person's reaction is going to be. But I honestly think that if more people did that, I don't think there would be as many suicides because I think people would understand that they're not alone in the world. I mean, how many times have you felt like you're alone in the world? I have felt that way so many times in my life. And, you know, that's a sad and scary place to be, especially when you're young and you don't even fully know who you are yet. And there was not one person in my life to counteract the ugliness that was coming to me. And my parents would have, my brothers would have, had I told them what was happening. But I was so, like, I had such shame about myself that I figured, like, I, I didn't want to reveal what was so shameful to me. Does that make sense? And so it's not that my parents didn't care, my brothers didn't care. It's that they didn't know I was struggling. It's like when somebody's really sick and they're in pain and you ask them how they're doing and they always say, I'm fine. They're not fine. <laughs> they're just telling you that they're fine because people really don't want to know. Like, if people ask me about my health or how I'm feeling, like, they really don't want to know. And so I would rather, like most people, okay? But I would rather just say fine than to say, you know what? I had 14 muscle spasms in my tailbone this morning, and I can't walk, and I can't stand up straight. And even though I had all this stuff planned out that I needed to do today, instead, I'm going to be laying back there in that flipping bed, 
not being able to move because my body dictates what my day holds. I don't get to decide. And I'm a control freak. I hate not having control over, you know, what happens in my life. But that's the way it is. Um, but even people that love me and are empathetic to my situation, even they have to get tired of hearing that. So I just, um, yeah, I just don't approach it anymore. Uh, I have friends and my mom, like people can see on my face. Like today, I feel pretty good. I got my pain under control. But like my mom will say, you don't feel good, do you? Or my friend Becky used to say that. You don't feel good today, do you? No, <laughs> I don't. And it shows on my face. I'm also pale. I look ghostly. My under eye circles are black as night. Like it's obvious when I don't feel good. Um, but anyways, um, I just read something and now, oh, Charlene, you're not alone because you're here with all of these people. Yeah. And so, I'm offering myself to you guys right now. If there's ever a time that you're not fine, and you feel like you're at the end of your rope, and you just need someone to make you feel like you're not the only person in the world that feels the way that you do, I'm offering myself. So, you're not alone, no matter how it feels. Like, you're not. I'm telling you right now that you're not. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hi, do you see all my nooks and crannies now? <laughs> you see all my true business now? <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I just, you know, I, I'm to the point in my life where I could give a rip what anybody else thinks of me. And and I I don't ever want anybody to feel the way I did for the majority of my life. I never want anybody to feel that way. Um, like whenever my friend Jessica um, said that there was a suicide at her school and she was so emotional about it. And I'm like, I don't even know this person. And, um, and I, it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad that somebody felt like they were that desperate, that they had nowhere else to turn, that they felt like that was their only option. Like that makes me so sad that any human being would ever feel that way. Like I'm about to cry right now. It hurts my feelings so bad to think somebody felt that way that they thought that was their only way out. Um, it, it, it's so sad. You know, and my dad and I talk about this a lot because suicide in teenagers, like the, the percentage is crazy high compared to whenever I was growing up. And I think that has a lot to do with, um, with technology. I think it has so much to do. Have you guys watched 13 Reasons Why on Netflix? That show rips my heart out because I know that those things really happen. One picture can ruin somebody's life, you know, and there can be 15 people that could help, but they don't because they're so insecure or they're hiding something for somebody else or they're afraid what people are going to say or do to them that they won't stand up for anybody else. And that is so sad. Oh my gosh. Right. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, I couldn't have blamed anybody. Had I done that as a teenager, I couldn't have blamed anybody because I never told anybody what was going on inside of my heart. Nobody. Nobody. So anyways, let me get off of this because I really don't want to cry anymore. Like I don't want to redo my makeup. But that show broke my heart, and but at the same time, I'm so glad that they made it because I want people to I, I want people to really understand that it, that's real. That's what our kids are going through, and how many times these people had a chance to help her and save her, and they didn't. And I don't ever want to live with the regret of knowing that somebody off themselves and took themselves out of this life because they felt like they had no one and nowhere to turn. Like, I would feel personally like I, like I failed them. I'll have to, I'll have to listen to that, Terry Lee. Yeah, I'm telling you, there are people who care. I'm one of them. I'm going to hug you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. I'm kissing you on both cheeks like we're French. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> yeah. See, my husband's in a wheelchair. My husband was in a wheelchair when we got married. 
You know, those things are irrelevant to me. Okay, I'm not doing any makeup while I'm sitting here, and I do have somewhere to go. I don't have to be there at any particular time, but the earlier the better. I'm going to start off with, uh, and I'm using Norvina, um, Courtney, because people, I saw some beautiful uh, tutorials this morning, and also because the people here want to see it. So this might be helpful to you to watch how I approach this. So that maybe when you go back in, it'll it'll be helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna I'm trying to find a shader brush. I need to wash brushes so bad, you guys. Oh, I will. It's beautiful. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with base, which is just kind of a bone color, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, under my brow bone. But yeah, I know the conversation got heavy, but those things need to be said. I think that's what's wrong with the world is that we just, you know, we want to sit there and complain and whine about all the things that we think are wrong being done to us, but we're not willing to be the kindness and be the love and be the, you know, different perspective or the place for somebody to turn. You know, we want to gripe and complain about how everybody's doing all these things wrong, but we're not doing anything to make it better. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, I think I'm going to use, all my brushes are dirty, so I'm going to have to color switch every single thing I touch. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss 16, which is this ginormous um, blender brush, and I'm going to go into, I don't think I'm even going to use any transition. Well, this will sort of be the transition. I'm going to go right into love, and I'm going to blow that out on the um, top and bottom. Okay, this is how you work with Anastasia or Anastasia shadows. You dip like this, boom. That's how much is on my brush, and then you tap off. I have a little metal jar, and then you go in and you start slow. I mean, I put barely any color on my brush. I tap the majority of it off, and look still how much color. And people go in like a beast, they don't tap any of it off, they just go nuts with it, and then they wonder why they have fallout all over under their eye, and they wonder why there's like a massive amount of kick up in their pan. And some people are beasts with their shadows, and, and they, they're fine to just blow it off. But um, like I said in my first impressions video, people are complaining about this nonstop, about this kick up. You can prevent it. <laughs> Treat the shadows in the way that it's been recommended that they're treated and you won't have that problem. And like I said everybody else, if you don't want to if you don't want to have to finesse your shadow and you want it to be no nonsense and not have to do anything special to make it work, then don't buy Anastasia. Don't buy Laroc. You're going to have the same issue with Laroc and if you've got really soft shimmers, you're probably going to have to use a glitter glue or fix plus. I know, they go in there and swirl, swirl around like they're trying to, you know, make butter or something. <laughs> I know, Data, and the sad part about it is that I, there were times that I did. Like when I first started wearing makeup, that frosty blue and green, that was my jam. I have pictures of myself in it looking totally like a retread. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. And that's what it's like, you can make really dramatic very heavy looks with these shadows and you can also make really soft and I, I'm all for soft and whims whimsical with this. Hey Kimberly Rose. So yeah I'm kind of I'm just going in my upper crease and I'm kind of bringing it out a little on the side because I really just want to build this up slowly but make sure it's kind of like blown out and diffused. I want the to concentrate the color right on my upper crease where you can still see it with my eyes open with my hooded eyes just right in that crease in the upper part and then after I get as much color as I want there I'll go in with the bigger br brush um, and blow it out well that's what I'm talking about like when I look at myself directly in the mirror I'm looking straight my eyes are relaxed I make sure that the color that I want to show, I can still see it with my eye open and my eye relaxed. Yeah. 
And so, anyway, that's my best advice if you if you wanted to show. And then if you if you get real real frosty and decide you want to try a cut crease, a cut crease or a halo eye is a really nice way. I think I'll, I'm going to go for a halo eye today because I don't feel like doing a cut crease. Cut creases give me anxiety because like either they look wonderful and beautiful or they look crazy and insane. But I don't have time to be um, OCD about them being perfectly identical on either side and all that jazz that I do whenever I do a cut crease. So, But you can do a half, half cut crease. You can do a halo eye. And those are all things that are going to show some pretty shimmer on your lid. And you can have pretty color popping out above like I do. Yeah, um, I wasn't talking about you... Uh, I wasn't talking about you, Courtney. I know you know how to use it. I was just telling everybody for the sake of them knowing how to use it. <laughs> because a lot of people just go in like they would with like a BH shadow or, you know, a, a pixie shadow or something that's from a drugstore that's just not as pigmented. And they don't realize that they have to do things a little differently and it turns out looking like a hot mess. I know you know better. I hope I didn't offend you. You seem like maybe you thought I was directing this to you, but I wasn't. Well, I'll do a halo eye today. Okay? And another time I'll do a cut crease. But today... No. Just not... It. You have to be in the mood to do all that business. But see how this one is so much more intense because I've built it up and I'm just not quite there yet with this one. Courtney, answer me. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be worried that you're mad or offended. And I'm not going in my outer corner like I all I usually just like swirl in my outer corner. I'm not gonna do that this time because I'm gonna use that periwinkle color. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like one of those things. It's just like putting on winged eyeliner or um, false lashes. It's like just one of those things that you just have to practice. I do not have it perfected by any stretch of the imagination. But like I said, I'm such a perfectionist and I can't stand uneven lines and I can't stand for one side to look one way and the other eye to look crazy, like not, not match, or they're not in exactly the same place, and uh, I just, I drive myself crazy, and I just don't feel like doing that today. Well, you're lucky, because I have to use tweezers, and I'm getting better. I mean, I, I can do it just fine, but I still have days when it looks crazy. I've never heard of a fawn eye, but I do have a little um, Kat Von D quad called fawn that's beautiful. Okay. I think I'm cool with the intensity. I need to go a little bit more here. Oh. I'm feeling worried that I made... Courtney upset. Gotcha. Everybody, you know, has a different shape, different shaped eyes, you know, different amount of hood or none at all. Some people have monolids, like a lot of Asian people have monolids. So there's, you know, you just have to do you and, and do whatever works for you. And my whole thing is, like, this is my favorite thing, just to sit down and play. And I have come so many beautiful looks just playing. So, that's what we have so far, guys. I'm going to go in with a BH Cosmetics blender that is um, big and fluffy. And I'm just going to blow this out because I want it to be really diffused on the outside. I want it kind of concentrated in the crease. But I want it really diffused and blown out on the edges. So I'm just going to go along the top edge and make sure it's all whimsical and fairy-like. That's what I love about um, this palette. It's very whimsical and it's very um, 
it's just soft it's just so subtle and pretty it's just beautiful I love it so much okay so I'm having anxiety over Courtney let me go send her a message and make sure she's not upset with me and I'll be right at the back I can't text for my life. All right. I'm back with you. Sorry about that, you guys. If you have her on on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, I just sent her one though. Hey, Treehouse. Oh, that would be good. I'm just not like, I'm not that person who does the really, oh, there you are. Oh, well, you don't worry about it. You do it whenever you're ready. And I probably wouldn't be playing with it now, but everybody was like, Norbina, Norbina. So, you ask you ask her, your wish is my command. Okay, I'm going to go into that shade soul. And, <laughs> right, I have to two finger it, or it takes me six and a half hours. Um, I am going to use that soul shade. And just for those of you, okay, Courtney, those of you who um, are wondering about this periwinkle or this wisteria color, it says on its description that it's matte, but it's not. It has a sheen and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I think that makes it beautiful. I'm glad that it's there. But, you know, they said that the tops are shimmers and the bottom are mattes. It's not fully matte. All right. I am going to go in. I bought this brush when I bought the palette. And it's the um, Anastasia A25. All right, Courtney, I got you good. I just want to make sure. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go... Deep, more deeply into my crease and my outer corner um, actually I need to do something else first I'm going to go ahead and put love that pinky color on my lower lash line and I'm going to put it down really far I'm going to blow it out I'm going to match it up with this and I'm going to really bring it down far and that's what I love about this palette is like everything is so soft that like you can f go in ham and it's not going to look crazy. It's just going to look soft and, um, that word I keep saying, whimsical. It's so pretty. I love it so much. <laughs> but you got to know how to finesse it. Got to treat it special. You got to buy it dinner and take it to a movie. <laughs> okay. It's probably 12.30, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's almost 1 o'clock. I only need like three hours at school. But I'm going to my mom's house after. So, I always stay there for a couple of hours. Alright. I'm kind of pulling it out right here too. The other day when Courtney and I did a live on Instagram, I did a look at where I've kind of pulled it out from the bottom lash line. And I like the way that looked. I'm about to grab my last story, Courtney, so you can laugh at me again. But I want... I want... Ugh, this chair not to get stuck is what I want. There we go. I want these, um, I think they're called Boudoir. They're by Last Lash Couture by Kiss. These right here are like... There's like triple layered, and I use these whenever we did. Oh, yeah, let me show you this. Um, you know what? I don't think I do specifically, Dana, but I, I have a lot of videos that I do halo eyes, but if you want me to do a straight-up tutorial, I will. This is my eyelash graveyard. <laughs> 
But if you'd like me to do like a specific tutorial, I would be glad to. That like really goes in depth into each step. I'd be glad to do it. So. <laughs> okay. Hi, Matthew. And come on, Glitz. We'll have a makeup play date. Don't you wish we could actually do that? Don't you wish we could actually have makeup play dates? I would love to do that. I will, Dana. Absolutely. Absolutely, Glitz. Heck yeah. Thank you. I'm not even ready yet. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? One of these days, one of us needs to become independently wealthy. So that we can just fly everybody to some place like Bora Bora and just we'll all meet up and just have a, a makeup play date. But, okay, Courtney just says she has a Halo Eye video, so you should go check hers out. But I probably need to do that because I just never do. All right, I'm using this Soul shade, the one that is kind of a wisteria color. And this time I'm going to keep it right in my upper crease, but like right in my natural crease. I have like a double crease, so the top part of my crease, and I'm just going to make a line. Well, boo. I would love to turn you into ugly Wanda, um, Matthew. So I like put my brush at an angle and just so that I'm just getting it into the upper crease. And I'm just going to make like a line here. I want this to blend together, but I want that blue to be distinct. Yeah, and that's what I said. I have tons of halo looks on my eye or on my channel. But I haven't ever, like, actually gone step by step and explained in depth, so I'll do that for you, hon. It may be a week or two, but I'll do it. I've got tons of collabs going on right now. Um, and so I need to get those done first, but then I would love to. Is it, is it in a black, um, is it in a black packaging that has, like, a snakeskin finish? That just it doesn't even have a name. It just says Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is that the one you have? Because I have one like that too. It was before the modern renaissance. And it's like a real basic neutrals palette. So I'm kind of pulling this purple color out. Right under where I pulled out the pink. And I'm doing the same thing. Tapping lightly. Tapping off. And building it up slowly. Like, I don't know about you guys, but those of you that are, like, actually makeup enthusiasts and love putting on makeup, like, this whole process of what I'm doing right here is so therapeutic to me. Like, I could be the most angry I've ever been in life. I can be the most hurt I've ever been in life. And if I'm here doing this, I am so content. It's so therapeutic for me. Right on, Glitz. We will be your fancy, foofy, fabulous models. I am so glad that you have visions of what you already want to do. Like you already have something in your mind about where you want everything to go. I love that. I was like in college getting a degree to do something that I didn't even know if I really wanted to do just because I couldn't figure out anything else. And I think I ended, I mean, luckily I ended up being a good teacher, but it wasn't because that was my lifelong dream. It was because, like, I just couldn't figure out anything else. But Dana, I will, do I have you on Facebook or Instagram, Dana? Because they've taken the YouTube uh, messenger away. Not that anybody ever really knew when they had a message there anyway. I never knew when I had one went in there and found out that somebody had sent me a message like a year earlier and I didn't even know it. Anyways, go ahead and add me there. It's Pink Share Bear. Pink, S-H-E-R-B-E-A-R -E um, on Instagram and Snapchat. And on Facebook, it's just Sherry Ward. And find me so that I can tell you when I have that posted. I'll even say, hey, you, Dana, this is for you. <laughs> I get happy joys when people say my name in videos. And Courtney, you, Courtney does it all the time. Every time she says my name, I'm like, <laughs> I feel so special. 
Yeah, I know. You've all, you all got baby girl who wants your attention. But yeah, it's such a therapeutic process for me. I guess it's just the rhythmic, you know, motions and just taking something that's flat and making it dimensional and colorful. It is so my jam. I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to take my Wayne. Actually, actually, I'm going to change my mind 14 times. I'm going to take my Morphe M507 with just tiny little blender. And, um, okay. I thought they were taking it away. Did they not take it away? I got a message from YouTube saying that they are take, that they were going to take away the messaging feature. Actually, I didn't get a message. It's like a little pop-up, um, a little pop-up message that's in the creator studio every time I go in there. So I just kind of assumed it was gone by now. But I much rather, um, I much prefer um, communicating on Facebook and on Instagram than on YouTube anyway. Oh, that combination of soul and love is so flippin' pretty, I just can't. You know, it's so funny, I know I've done this in my videos so many times. I, If I have my hand right here, I can do my eyeshadow on this eye. But if my hand is not there, like I, it's like I'm out of balance. Right on. You can name my lipstick Miss Fang. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I didn't even remember. I was supposed to message you, Tiffany, and I kind of forgot. So, I'm sorry. I, I should have done what you asked me to do, but I just, I forgot. I honestly do. I gotcha. Harry's here. Hi, Brenda. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since I've seen you, Brenda. Good to see you. And Harry, good to see you. Okay, Courtney, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I'm going to be at the school, so if you need anything, I'll have my phone. But, it, you know, don't, don't, hi, Oreo. Don't worry if I haven't, um, if I don't answer you right away, because I uh, I like leave my phone on my desk with, for music, and then I just go back to it every once in a while and look. So if it's urgent, call me. Um, oh, well, maybe I should add you. Is it easy to find you? Oh, let me tell you this, Dana. Let me tell you this, and maybe this will be an easy way for you to to find me. Um, there's a link to my Facebook, um, on, in every one of my, uh, in my, in my description box of everything but my lives. Hey, Anthony. So if you can, it's at the bottom, it'll say, um, social media and it has my Snapchat, it has my Instagram, it has my Facebook and it also has my Facebook beauty group because I have a beauty group on Facebook called the beauty within too. So can you guys see how I went? like that and put the blue like that and then I went pink and then I put the blue under it and how I'm pulling it out into kind of a point right there <gasps> it's super pretty I am feeling myself over here okay that sounded bad I am feeling happy about my makeup over here <laughs> I'll, I'll change that up because you know how people are and you know it's so funny, you guys? You know, I've lost, like I said, total I've lost about 130 pounds. But recently, since October, I've lost about 60 pounds. And, you know, you never think that you would, like, actually lose weight in your eyeball or in your eye. But this part right here used to be so pudgy and stick out. And the, the more weight I lose, the more... Um, the more my crease is getting deeper and deeper. Isn't that crazy? You never think like you're going to lose weight in your eyelid. <laughs> right? Okay, I will. I will, Courtney. 
But yeah, seriously, who would think that you would lose weight in your eyelid? But I never examined my eyelids in the way that I do now. Like, I never looked at my eyelids so much, you know? I used to think my makeup was pretty, but I just didn't even know what the heck I was doing. Well, thank you for stopping by, Oreo. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm going to be here a minute. Aw, okay. Yes, I can't hardly. Okay, Terry Lee, thank you. And um, I, I love wings of all kinds. I like, um, no, like I, when I look at my old videos and I look at how far across my arms are out, it, that's where I notice. But I, and then the other thing is like I, before I lost weight, you couldn't even see these bones and feel these bones. And now I look at myself in my video. I'm like, look, there's a collarbone. Look, I've got little two little knobby bones. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I fondle myself nonstop. Just feeling like right here last night I was sitting at the on the couch. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like a muscle right here. <laughs> I can feel a muscle. And when I'm washing my face in the shower, I can feel where my jaw is. And I know that sounds crazy, but like... When your face and your body has been distorted by a bunch of stuff for all this, like, that stuff is fully hidden. Like, when I put my jeans on, I can feel where my hip bones are. You know, my hip bones have not been accessible <laughs> for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, anybody who's ever lost any weight or gained weight and then all of a sudden that stuff is hidden, you'll, you understand. I love lashes that are tapered on the inner corner and flare out like, psh, hello. Yeah, I think that's what Terry Lee was talking about. Um, more than, I mean, for the most part, I have, uh, I have people that I need to contact on other venues or I have mine available there for people if they need it and they want to get a hold of me. It's on all my videos. But, um, but where was I going with that? Um, oh, I really got lost in what I was doing on my eye. Um, but like with giveaways and stuff. Right on. That would be so much fun. But, like, you don't necessarily have those people's, like, you don't have their personal information. And so whenever I was trying to, um, to find people that won my giveaway, wrong brush, I couldn't find them. And they wouldn't answer me on the YouTube thing. So the next time I have a giveaway, I don't know if you guys can see over there, I've got two boxes, that, that's my giveaway stuff. Um, I just haven't had time to film to show you and in fact, I think I'm going to do another live. I think I'm just going to do a live and I'm going to show all the stuff. I'm going to have two different sets so that I can afford to actually send it. Yeah, I agree, Terry. Terry Lee. Um, so I can afford to send it. I'm going to, I'm going to split it up into two flat rate boxes and I'm just going to show the two different sets and, and whoever gets drawn first gets to pick, um, which one they want first, and then whoever, you know, whatever. It's going to be group one and group two, and whoever picks first gets to choose first. Um, but I want this stuff out of my house, and I've had some of it for a long time, so I don't want any of it. I want, you know, people to have it for its full life. I don't want it to, like, be close to expiration or anything like that before they even get it, so... Um, I gotta get this done, you guys. I've had it. I'm 1,100 and something. I've been 1K for a while. It's time. Okay. Hey, Anthony, I'm in Oklahoma. I'm gonna take the brush that had the uh, love on it, and I'm just gonna kind of go over the 
the sole and blend those two in together a little bit but I still want the purple to really be a distinct line so that's what I'm doing now I'm just blending I blend for days people I blend for days and thank you for the hearts Erica I don't know was Erica saying she was leaving I'm missing so much just so you guys know I go back after the videos over and watch the live chat so that I can see everything that I missed while I wasn't looking at the screen. But if I look at this screen nonstop, I'll never get my makeup done. So, yeah. I do go back and read it. And if there's something that somebody needs an answer to, I find a way to tell them. I live in Perkins. I forgot. Did you tell me you're in Oklahoma? I'm in Perkins, and just right outside of Stillwater. Either you're in Oklahoma or you're familiar with Oklahoma. I can't remember. I'm sorry you've been so sick. I hate to hear when anybody's been sick. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. But I am going to take this little bitty brush and go back into that blue color. And I'm going to put it on my outer and inner corner. And this is your beginning lesson, Dana, on Halo Eye. The purpose of a Halo Eye is to darken your outer corner and your inner corner and see this is already dark across the bridge but darken on your outer corner and your inner corner that leaves the this part of your eye blank and that's where you're going to put a shimmer and that's what the halo you're like creating the halo and so in the middle of that of the darker color you have a very bright shimmer and it's so see how this is blank because I'm putting a really pretty shimmer in there in a minute. And you guys, these shimmers in this palette are ridiculously beautiful. And I haven't tried it with Fix Plus because when I used it, it didn't need Fix Plus. So, I'm sure with Fix Plus, it's probably super... Like, I'm already completely and utterly over the top for where I'm going today. I'm with you on that, Terry Lee. Like, I'm not getting rid of my stuff, but, like, the, I have some hi some liquid highlighters. I have some, some primers. I have some things that, you know, if they sit somewhere for a long time, they're going to be yucky. And I don't want somebody to think, oh, well, she gave us all this old crappy stuff. Like, this is stuff I bought during the Ulta sale. And, like, I bought this, a lot of these higher, higher price items I bought specifically for this. And they're sitting in a box not being used by people who would be enjoying them. And that's my problem is with myself and not getting it done. But like I said, my illness dic dictates my life and how much time I have to do things. And so I just have to, you know, do what I can do when I can do it. I don't know if I like the way this outer corner looks. It's kind of, Maybe, I don't know, it looks really patchy and weird because I left it open and now I'm coming back with this. I don't know. You know how these things go. They always look insane. They look crazy and wrong until you have everything done and you have the lashes and liner on and it all comes together. I almost feel like I would do better going ahead and filling this in with the blue. All <laughs> right. You guys, I'm a teacher, you know, just down into my soul. And so it's like every one of my videos, even if I'm just sitting here talking to you, it probably sounds like a tutorial. I don't know if I like how that looks on the outside. But anyway, it is what it is. It's staying that way. I'm going <coughs> to blend this with the brush that has love on it. But a lot of these kind of eye looks, like, Dana, if you're doing this, like, don't feel crazy, like, it, like you're doing it wrong if it looks all crazy at the beginning, because it does look crazy. Until you get it, until all the elements are in place, it does look crazy. It looks wrong. Like, this outer corner thing looks wrong to me. But we'll see what happens. I may, like, pull it out, like, get some glitter liner and pull it out, so that's more um okay 
So that's like that bottom line goes out underneath. But okay, I have not used Dreamer or Summer or Celestial, which I'm not going to use today because I don't think that'll be enough of a contrast. Rose Gold or Dazzling. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to use Rose Gold. I'm going to try it. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? If you're ever going to be coming this direction, shoot me a message. We'll meet at the McDonald's on the corner and have some coffee or something. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to go in with rose gold because I just, I want to try it. And whenever I do a shimmer, I go in with my finger first. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I sound like I'm in pain. But that is so flippin' pretty. It's a duochrome. And I didn't even know it was a duochrome until I put it on my eye. Oh my goodness. That is so flippin' pretty. <sighs> calm yourself, Sherry. Calm yourself. So pretty. Okay, so I put that on with my finger, and now I'm going to go in with my MAC 242 with the same color and just make sure it's nice and opaque and kind of pull it into the blue. Oh, <laughs> hi, Ellie. Is that, is that my Ellie with a different name, or is this an Ellie I haven't met before? Listen to me claiming her, my Ellie. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, well, good. It's nice to meet you. I have another friend that her handle is Everything Ellie. And I haven't seen her in a while, so I thought maybe that was her. But anyways, welcome. Can you guys see the beautifulness of what's on my lid? Can you see it? I hope you can see it because it is flipping gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. But it did fall out all over my face, so let me get it out of the way here. But it's, it's coming right off without being an issue. These, these shimmers are so soft. Like, they feel like they're almost wet. Oh! That is so flippin' pretty. Yay, it's Ellie number two. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I am doing um, a look on my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina. That is 820 times, 822 times too dramatic for me to go work in my classroom. Good. Isn't that flipping pretty, Charlene? Oh, huh. Like, I am so in love with that. But it did fall out. The next time I use this palette, I need to just put some powder under my eyes so that whenever it... It's just so soft. You're going to have a little bit of fallout. So just expect it and put some powder down or use some glitter glue. Dude. So flipping pretty. I am so impressed. Okay. I'm going to re-intensify the white on my brow bone since I got so crazy and go around the outside with, um, with the pink so that I can... Uh, Make sure that it's blended on the very outside edge. And then after that, I'm going to um, I'm gonna use this color called Dreamer on my inner corner, this one. Um, like I use, there's, a, there's an e.l.f. one that works adequately but not as well, but this is my favorite, NYX Glitter Glue. And I just like put a little bit on my finger and just tap it over where I want it and then I apply it because it'll just keep that where you, where you put it, it'll keep it intact there. It won't fall out on your face. And like right now, I already have glitter up in my crease because my eyes are hooded and when my eyes are open, the glittery part goes up in there. But with the halo eye, and that's part of the reason why I like the halo eye with that, like it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. And so, but if I would have put glitter glue down and tapped over the glitter glue, it wouldn't be on my face and it wouldn't have moved up. It's just a way of really locking that in. But this is my favorite, and this is not very expensive. I think it's like 6 or $7, and this will last you forever because it's not like you're going to use it every every day. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go in with 
I lost the brush. I just had it in my hand. How do I lose it? I just, oh, okay. I'm going to go in with this shade called Dreamer. I'm going to put that on my inner corner. And this one's super soft, so I'm going to tap it off a lot. I love grunge looks. This is kind of turning into one. This isn't showing up very much. Oh, now it is. I must have just not been doing a very good job. The best thing that comes out of Oklahoma is I-35. Well, tell him he hasn't met Sherry yet. Are you kidding me? I'm the best thing that came out of Oklahoma. See, there's, there's Miss Thing again. Yes, I'm the best thing. Tell him. <laughs> you know what? Most times, you don't have anything to do with how you ended up where you ended up. If you live in the state you were born in. So, I don't really identify. Ooh, okay. Let me just put it everywhere. Hey, Alex Quisha. Nice to see you, hon. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, But, yeah. You don't. Most of us don't have anything to do with where we were born. So, I don't really, like, identify much with being, like, an Oki. Like, I'm not like, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm an Oki. Yeah, I'm from Oklahoma. If I could be living where I wanted to live, I would be in London. So, that's what I would identify with, is London. Alright, I'm going to go around this outside. I need to stop, because I'm going to be looking crazy at school, and people will be like, you put all that makeup on your eye to come here? Why, exactly? <laughs> because I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, good. Tell them I said hi. Um, and we need to have a powwow about collabing, too. Like, I, I, I'm not trying to brag. I just have had a lot of people asking me to um, collab lately. And, it, and like, I, my schedule is filling up. It's not like I have to do it all before I go back to school, but it's better if I do. Um, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to stop. Right, exactly. And see, I love rain, even though rain makes my body hate, my, like my body hates rain. Even though my body hates rain, I love rain. And it rains in, in England all the time. Like, they have such a raining season. I'm like, totally. I, anyways, I would be there. Aww. How did you go from Calif or to o from Oklahoma to California? <laughs> right. There is no such thing as work appropriate for me. Like, I remember when I was doing that 20 or uh, 25 days of lip when I had that, that, uh, that NYX, what's it called? Something calendar, the Christmas, what's that called? Where you pull one thing out each day, it's countdown to Christmas. What's that called? Seriously? Somebody help me. Advent. Thank you, Terry Lee. I had a NYX Advent calendar that Becky gave me. Um, and I had a new lippy every day. And there were some that had, there was gray, there was bright red, there was nearly black. Like, it was crazy. I had to take some of it out. Yeah, that would be awesome, Glitz. Definitely. If I say something about collabing with you guys, please hit me up because sometimes I say these things and it just goes right out of my mind and I don't remember. And it's not that I don't like I like I'm not serious about it. I just forget. Um, that's another fibro thing. I'm sorry. But Ellie, to answer your question, I was such a flippin' nerd in school. I I loved all things English. I loved the. Uh, Charlotte Bronte and the Bronte sisters. I loved um, Jane Austen and my favorite book is Sense and Sensibility. When I was in junior high, I was like fully obsessed with um, with Duran Duran bands out of like out of England or out of Europe in general. And so, um, you know, like I'm a Harry Potter nerd. Like 
I love watching movies that are like I love Downton Abbey. I love period pieces where they were dressed fancy and everything was prim and proper. Like I love that whole time period, that whole era. Um, and yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. And so I would just love to be there. And I've never gotten to travel there. And I, I'm still going. Like one of these days I'm going. I am not going to die not having been to, to England. Yeah. I just, um, it, it's, I mean, they even have a term for it. It's called fibro fog. I just don't, like, I can remember when I was wearing diapers. Like, I remember when I was a tiny little child. I remember lots of things, but I cannot remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. I didn't because I'm fasting. But <laughs> if I had eaten breakfast by now, I would have forgotten what it was. So I'm going to go in with Kat Von D. I go in with Kat Von D because I, it's, it's a, not a really wet formula. Um, and so I have control. I put the outline with this and then I do, um, I use Epic Ink by NYX to fill it in because it's really dark and black and matte. Well, you guys should hook up and, and have a chat because I bet you, you guys have a lot in common right now. And I'm sorry, I guess I thought I saw Terry Lee say stroke, but I didn't see you say stroke, Dana, so I'm so sorry. Ugh, I may be out of frame. I'm sort of in frame. I do not know why I did this, you guys. I cannot help myself. I really should have just done a very basic everyday eye look and gone about my business. I'm going to look so ridiculous at school with this glam glamorous makeup on. I got a, I just got a battery notification, so I'm going to have to plug this phone in. And I don't know why, guys, but I found out that part of, like, I had some videos where my mouth didn't match up with my audio and I finally figured out it was because of my phone being plugged in and I don't know why that makes that happen but you'll have to tell me if I am if my audio gets janky immediately at whenever I plug in so okay I'm plugged in you'll have to tell me whoa my bad <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Did I? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second. Obviously, my little wire here is causing everything to fall over. Okay, whoever just came in, I'm not crazy and I don't usually spend most of my time screaming. Just in case you were like, I don't think I came to the right spot. Okay. We DDZ. I have no idea how to say your name. I'm going to let go and pray this doesn't come forward. Okay, I think we're good. Welcome back, Glitz. <laughs> I'm giggling because I this this was going boom, boom, and falling down like that. Stop it. Oh, my goodness. Well, now you can treat it. Now you can take care of it and help yourself. Hey, Dana. How are you? So I'm going to go in with the Epic Ink and fill in what I just got through and hope that my tripod and my camera don't come crashing into my face. I'm sorry if you're talking to me. I have to hardcore concentrate when I'm doing wings. 
Oh, <laughs> hello. I know it's a chore. You saw what I deal with. You're going for a ride? Where are you going? Wow, you guys have been through so much, but you're still standing. You're still here to tell about it, so praise God for that. But I'm still very sorry that you guys had to go through that. So I pray. Like I remember, I knew Terry Lee was going through it. Sometimes I just don't know the right thing to say, so I pray. My mom and my aunt are both breast cancer survivors. So the way that I... The way that I honor them and acknowledge them in that way is I get a mammogram every year and I make sure that everybody knows. I say I'm going to get my tatas smashed. I don't care about talking about it because especially if it's in your family, you should start. Like I started getting mammograms when I was 35. And I actually, on my second mammogram when I was 36, I had a major scare because I had an inflamed lymph node that looked like a mass. I know, Charlene. <laughs> right on, Dana. <laughs> I love that. <gasps> Terry Lee? Oh my goodness, girl. It's about time to have a celebration then. Did you know you were that close? I thought you already had one K. Um, or maybe I saw, I really don't pay much attention to people's numbers, but um, I thought, where is my glitter drawer? Good Lord, why? Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Obviously, what happened is my, what had happened was <laughs> my, um, USB outlet on my lighted mirror that I always plug my charging cords into went out. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm trying to do this, pull this cord from under my desk. Oh, pfft. That's why, you guys, my giveaway is going to, like, if you see that I'm going live in the evening time in the next week or two, please, God, in the next week, come to my live. Because that's where I'm going to do the explanation of the giveaway. And that's where I'm going to do the giveaway. I'm not advertising it. I don't want people just to show up because they think they're going to win something. It's going to be somebody who's subscribed to my channel that I know is subscribed to my channel. Um, it ain't going to be just any Tom, Dick, or Harry who decides to walk in at, just because they saw the word give, giveaway. I And you know, I don't know about you, Terry, but that was my very first giveaway was the last one, and I just didn't know. I didn't know. And the good thing is I had three winners, and one of them, two of them were people that I was so happy they got it that were both really big supporters of mine. And the third one I didn't know, but I never saw her again. So I got duped by one person, but I got, you know, two to the other. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find my, um, yeah, it's, it's called Midnight Cowboy. It's a kind of, it's like silver and gold and all mixed together. And so I'm going to use, I'm going to go from my lower lash line up underneath my wing because it, it looks kind of weird. But the liner kind of pulled it together. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. But yeah, I can't stand people who, anyways, I'm not even going to get started. You guys know what I'm going to say. You know how I feel about it. Okay, I'm going to go under from my lower lash line. Up underneath my wing. You know, if I'm going to go crazy and go to work looking like I need to be going to the prom, I might as well just go ahead and add glitter. If I'm going to go all out, I might as well just go all the way. Right? Oh, 
that glitter is bomb. Every time I use it, I'm like, why don't you use this more? It is so flippin' beautiful. You know what'll happen? The new teacher that I've never met will be there today, and I'll meet her for the first time, and I will look like this. And I'm gonna have these lashes like this. I'm gonna be like, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> She might as well learn all about me right from Jump Street. Can you guys see the glitter? Oh, anyway, I'm going to put on some roller lash on my bottom and top lashes, and then I'm going to put on these beautiful lashes called. Oh, Brenda's still here. Yay. You're going to have to tell me how you are. A uh, boudoir. And they are triple lashes, like triple layers, and they've got. Crisscrossy. Look how flippin' pretty these are. And can you see they're like 3D? Can you see how there's like three different layers? I don't know if you can, but holy cow, they're so flippin' pretty. So, congratulations again for you getting to a thousand twice. I was just telling my friend Courtney, the one that was in here earlier. I was telling her that I was in a live, I know, right? I was in a live doing this. <laughs> I was doing what I'm doing right now, and somebody came in and said, congratulations on 1K, and, and I thought they were talking to somebody else. Because before I went in the room, I was like eight, I was like 972 or 982. I was far away. And I said, who are you, you know, who, who are you talking about? Um... Thank you if you're talking to me. Um, I said, who are you talking about? So I can tell them congratulations. And they're like, you. I'm talking about you. And I'm like, me? And I started crying, like immediately. Because I had had some situations where people kind of were implying that I was not doing things in a legitimate way. And my feelings were so hurt. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm getting to a, a 1K. And people are going to think that I, you know, that I cheated my way. Like, there's all this stuff going on, and it hurt my feelings so bad. And so it was kind of bittersweet. But I was so happy. I was so happy because it, it, it's a lot of hard work to get there. I uploaded three times a week consistently for an entire year. My one-year anniversary was June 19th. And what I'm drinking is water with lemon juice and electrolyte drops. Okay, Kimberly, welcome back. I had been going to your channel to see if you had posted anything else, so I'm glad that I got to talk to you and know that I can be praying for you. I got gotcha. you. Congratulations on the new baby. Is it a boy or a girl? My grandson just turned seven, and my granddaughter just turned four, and I cannot believe they're so big. And you know what? Another thing that you can do to make this world a better place. Whenever you think something good about somebody. Say it. How many times do you think something good about somebody? And you don't say it. And it could be the very thing. That they need to hear that day. Right? Len Elaine. That's beautiful. And what I was just going to. What I was just thinking. Is. Glitch, you are so sweet. You are so encouraging. And you are always upbeat and you never have anything but positive and sweet things to say to people. And I so appreciate that. 
I am starting to sweat. And I hate that worse than anything when I'm trying to get ready. And it gets so hot in here. And it's mostly the lights. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm turning the lights down for a minute, okay? And you might not, not be able to see me as well, but they are making me sweat. And I don't want to mess my face up before I even get it on. Well, guys, I'm, you know, I'm from the old school where I was raised on Bambi. And when Thumper said, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Don't say nothing at all. Like, that was what I was raised up on. And that's the way I feel about it. Like, if I don't have anything nice to say, I just keep my trap shut. Even my eyebrow was sweating. Are you flipping kidding me? I have little dew drops of sweat on my eyebrow. Don't you dare come off. I am already like from a, a, you know, a family that just with our physiology, we spring a leak the minute we get hot, but I hate sweating more than anything in the world. Well, we love and appreciate you. Right on, Terry Lee. I'll be looking for it. So what do you guys think? Does it look absolutely crazy? Can you tell? Does it look pretty? I can't even tell if it's pretty. Once I get these lashes on... I'll get a better idea. I'm going to definitely need a nude lip. I think it's going to be a, a velvet teddy kind of day. And these lashes are super challenging. So I don't know why I picked them. Because they just go so well with this. That's why I picked them. Thank you. Okay, I will. Alright, I'm going to go in with these lashes. So... Um, forgive me because I'm not going to be looking um, at you for a minute. So if you have something important to say to me, wait about two minutes. <laughs> but I love these lashes. I wore these whenever we had the Unicorn Mermaid Challenge. Did you guys see my video where I had a ginormous um, mermaid tail in between my eyebrows right here going up onto my forehead I had a giant mermaid tail I don't know if you guys saw that or not but it was crazy it didn't even turn out how I wanted it I was so disappointed because I wanted to have like mermaids or like mermaid scales like on my face and I had this thing that I was gonna put the it just didn't work I was so disappointed but it was like 1030 on the night before it was gonna be posted and I didn't have time to do anything to alleviate the situation. Thank you, Brenda. I, I mean, I actually drew it out on a piece of paper. You do a halo with, how do you do a halo with your brows? No, I, that is one thing that I really just don't get on board with. Like, I didn't like the wavy brows and I didn't like the feather brows. All right, I'm going to put this eyelash on. But I can't get on board with the freaky looking eyebrows. I just, I mean, if I was doing like a Halloween look or I was doing a, you know, some kind of, oh, I forgot about these lashes, that they like, that they try to, they don't sit up. This doesn't even look right. Did I put the wrong one on this eye? No, it just doesn't look right. Let me bend this a little bit. I forgot that these... There are certain lashes that just won't, like, curl upward. And you have to, like, really sit them up whenever they're drying. Or they look like they're sticking straight out. And these are one of them. I may end up using a different one if it won't cooperate. Okay, thank you. I know, I I know, and I feel like I feel sorry for people who have the sperm shaped brows because I don't think they understand how odd that looks. <laughs> I don't know. I have to do it. Like, I have no eyebrows. What do you guys think about the way this lash looks with what I, with this eye look? Do you like it? Does it look crazy? 
I, I kind of like it, but I feel like it's sticking weird in the inner anyways. I need to quit being such a nitpicky wank and just put the flipping eye, eyelash on. Okay. Let me stop. I'm, I'm having a conversation with myself here. The good news about eyelashes, like if I'm in my classroom and they're driving me crazy, I will pull these mugs off and stick them in a zippy and put them in my purse. But anyway, they're, they're as long on the inner as they are on the outer. And so when I first put them on, it makes me think, oh my gosh, did I put a, the wrong one on the wrong eye? Because I'm so used to my inner corner part being tapered. And so I'm not used to stuff sticking out. What do you guys think? Super dramatic. Like, I really, if I was a smart person, I would take these off and put on some less dramatic lashes. <laughs> but they're pretty, and I don't want to. But it's like, I am so inappropriate for work right now. But nobody's going to be there probably except me. You guys, encourage me. Make me feel like I'm not insane for going to work in my classroom like this. My inner corner is not going down, so i got to put a little dot of glue on my skin. I just go right to my skin when that happens. And I got it on the lash, and I got it on my nose, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a photo shoot after this. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You just gave me 14 excuses for looking this way. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Make them fly. <laughs> See, you guys are awesome. You know, it's so funny because it is really so nice to have kindred spirits. Like, people don't understand that this is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is not normal. Thank you. See, that's the thing, is that these are so, so big that it does kind of, but whenever I, like, when I'm looking here and I look up, these are crisscrossy, and you can totally see the halo part of my eye. But that might not be translating on the camera. And these are on my eyelashes and not on my skin. But, yeah. I should have used a sparser lash. But now that they're on, thank you. I just don't even want to mess with it. I just want to leave them there. And then if it looks crazy later, I'll just pull them off. My mom's going to be like, why? She still asked me, why are you wearing makeup like that when you were just at the school? Because I'm crazy. But the cool part is that you guys are the same kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, that's it. Screw you. I'm fabulous. Yeah. Screw it. I'm fabulous. Take my own advice. Is that what you're saying, Glitz? Take my own advice. Alright. I'll take my own advice. I'm just fixing this a little bit because sometimes when I glue down my, lash my lashes... My lashes, um, it pulls my skin up a little bit and makes my... ...hard time to you, because this thing is not on my skin. What is up with you, eyelashes? Giving me a hard time today. Oh, it's hard to get in there without getting this... So, I'm going to my classroom today. <laughs> right? Why not? Can't tell me that this ain't party because this is party. Um, today, I'm going to go work in my classroom and go visit with my parents. I'm going to go to... My dad is a guard. He does a huge garden in the summer. And he has tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and all kinds of veggies for me. So, I'm going to go... Hang out with them, visit with them, get some veggies for the week. And then tomorrow, I am going to film and do some transcription work. 
and this is giving me a hard time you guys uh, um, I'm gonna have to tell myself to leave well enough alone and stop all right as I keep going So tomorrow is my at-home day. I'm also going to start in finishing my closet because I've, I'm going through my closet. And I'm getting out all the things that don't fit. I don't know if Dana is still here. I need to talk to her because she was potentially interested in having some of my, left, my clothes that I'm getting rid of. And I need to have a talk with her about that. But um, I'm just going to blend my naturals in a little bit. But that's tomorrow, and then Wednesday, I'm going to see Mama Mia 2 with my mom. And I've never even seen Mama Mia 1 until yesterday. They had it on Netflix, so I watched it. And see, I'm all about musicals. I love musicals. And so I think we'll like that. And then, I don't know, Thursday, Friday, I don't know. What else? Yes, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, it is an artful expression. Thank you, Erica, you too. What do you guys got on the agenda for the week? I just have three weeks left before I, um, before I go back to school. I, my friend Becky and I have a concert, called, it's a group called Need to Breathe. If you're a Christian, you probably have heard of Need to Breathe. We saw them last summer and they were so flippin' incredible that the minute we heard they were coming back, we were so stoked about going to see them. And it's at the Zoo Amphitheater, so it's outside. It'll be super hot. But they are so incredible. Oh, that's that's my favorite lately movie. My latest movie that I love so much, Terry Lee. I love that movie. And um, so we're going to go see Need to Breathe. And then when these tickets were on sale, nobody had any money. I couldn't afford to buy tickets for me and somebody else. So, I got tickets for Fall Out Boy, which is my favorite, like, alternative rock group. Um, so, I'm going to go see them. And then, and I'm also going to go see Chris Young, which is a country singer. And none of my friends like country music anyway. So, I wouldn't expect them to want to pay for a ticket to go with me, to go to a concert of someone that they don't like. Um, and there's another, there's another kid that's with them, something brown. Gage Brown? No. Zane Brown. Anyway, he, he got his start on Facebook. Yeah. Well, I've got, um, my live group is on Monday, so, and it's every other week, so I'm not, I don't have group tonight. I teach second grade. Kane Brown. That's it. I don't know how I could forget his name because I think he's beautiful. And I, his voice makes me melt into a, into a puddle of butter. The run-through video, like, you mean like maybe a rehearsal? Kane Brown, yes. I'm going to see Kane Brown and um, Chris Young. Because I fell in love with Chris Young, and I don't mean like in love with him, but like his music. You remember that song? I'm coming over. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to leave here. I'm going to let you go and walk away like every Oh, it gives me chill bumpers. Even with my yucky voice singing it. Like, ugh. Oh, those songs. So, yeah. <laughs> let me stop. Because I'm totally off key and not even... I can sing good when the music's on, but I can't sing good a cappella. I promise you that. Okay, I, I, I'm going to pull... Um, my Mac Lippies and where is my Philbit Teddy? I have Mer and Whirl. This is too dark. Yeah, he's super pretty. <gasps> really? How cool, Brenda! Oh, that'll be cool. So cool. That's a sweet surprise. So now I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not going to use that. I need a nudier nude. 
I'm going to get into my lipstick graveyard, and I know there's a MAC lippy in here, and I know it's Velvet Teddy, and I saw it because I have to do a declutter, like hardcore have to do a declutter. Oh, why aren't you here? Booger. Velvet Teddy is that lippy that goes with everything when you're not sure what to use. Use Velvet Teddy. Where are you? <gasps> Here we go again. I'm so... <laughs> that hurt. My mirror, this ginormous thing, just hit me in, the, in my non-padded collarbone. Okay. So obviously, there needs to be some adjustment. Hi, Shannon. As all my equipment falls over, hello. All my equipment will not stop falling over. Stop. Okay. I really need Velvet Teddy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, admit something here. And that is that I have a big t-shirt on, but no pants. So I want to scoot over here and really get into this, but I'm afraid the bottom half of me is going to show. So I'm putting this towel over my lap and nobody look until I come back over there. Because I know I saw it. There it is. Boom. And now it won't close. Okay, let me get everything straightened back up. Are you guys still with me? Did I lose you? Okay, sorry. I really don't, you know, didn't need you guys all to know that I'm sitting here half unclosed, but it's hot in here. I don't know, Ellie, does anybody have one that they know is a dupe for this? Because I, I don't have one that comes right to mind, actually, as a dupe. Shannon would be the one to ask, probably. She's She, she knows her lipsticks in a big way. And Shannon, are you still at your long comb thing? Are you home? I'm going to use my Dolly Danger Plumb Line Lip Line by Buxom with my Velvet Teddy. Oh, yeah? Okay. I don't know. Ellie, I'll be on the hunt, but I'm really not good. I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad you love what you're doing. I guess I should have told my mama that I was in here. Usually she comes in. Yeah, it is. I love Touch of Spice. I have that. I love it more in it for fall. But you should know, you know already that I am a pinky lip person. I just Oh my god, are you even kidding me? Okay guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But if I don't plug it in, it's gonna die. Hi, Jessica. I'm having like major equipment malfunction right now, and I am looking at you in the worst angle possible. Okay, hang on. This guy here is coming down off of my makeup mirror, and you guys are just going to be all up in my grill. You're going to be all up in my grill. You ready? Okay. That way, this thing is not off balance, and yeah, we have had like avalanche of equipment like 16 times yeah did you guys enjoy the view of my nostrils <laughs> thank you I have I am so overdressed and over makeup for where I'm going today I know right? it's like oh my gosh she doesn't know what she's doing adios chica I use Norvina <laughs> I use this one. <laughs> it makes me so happy. So you can see I kind of did a, a halo-ish eye and then I put 
um, what is it? Cowboy, um, Midnight Cowboy glitter up underneath it. I am so over makeup. It's not even funny. Yeah, I know. I know. And I would have, you know what? This was really an impulse decision. I should have told everybody, but I put it on Instagram and I put it on my, uh, Facebook story and I put it on my collab group. I, you know, I tried to put it somewhere that I was doing this, but I usually tell my mom the, the Norvina. Oh, I could not wait. So what I did is I had $200 budgeted out for uh, groceries. And so that day, I didn't spend all of it. I didn't spend $75 of it. And so I got the Norvina, and I got a, hang on, I gotta move this. My OCD is, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't centered. I got the um, Anastasia A25 brush that I've always wanted. So, uh, I have, there is a hair on this somewhere. I have a first impressions swatches um, review demo coming out, but I'm waiting on um, on Courtney to get her side of the collab done. I know, right? And that's the bad part because I don't have kids that I have to, that I have to consider. I have furry babies and I do spend a ton of money on them every week because they're flipping spoiled as all heck. But, um, you know, if we don't have steak one week or we don't have, like my husband eats bachelor food anyway. He eats things out of a box like cereal or out of a bag like chips. Like that's his whole diet. So he doesn't, as long as I get that stuff for him, he could care less what I cook. And so, anyways, um, yeah, so I just didn't spend all the budgeted money for for the groceries and, and bought the brush and the palette. Okay, thank you, Jessica. I'm getting ready to head to the school. And um, I didn't know there was a new NYX foundation. I'm going to go, I'm getting ready to go head to the school and do some decorating and some organizing, and I should be done, so... Good luck with your appointment. I don't know what it's for, but I hope everything's okay. Talk to you later. All right, guys. I'm just, since I've got my Mac Fix Plus here, I'm just going to set with it. So, I'm about to give myself a bath. I'm so glad that you're here. I, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so glad to see everybody. But I haven't seen or talked to you like one-on-one -on -one with Glitz, with Brenda, with you. And with Dana, all you guys have been gone, so I'm so excited. It was so nice to talk to you guys. Okay, well, have a great day. Love you lots, Jessica. Okay, here I go in. You too, Brenda. I didn't... Mac Fix Plus smells so good. It's like barely a fragrance, but it smells so good, you guys. So yeah, I am super fancy. I think my lip kind of helped to, to balance things out, don't you? Since it's not all big time, it's just kind of neutral and nude. Don't you think it kind of helped? I'm trying to justify this. And I feel, I you guys, this is why I'm late everywhere I go. Because I sit there and I look at things. I'm like, that doesn't look quite right. That doesn't look, you know, symmetrical. That looks off kilter. I need to, yeah. I heard that, um, <laughs> snatched. Um, I heard that those drops, if you add them to lotion... Or add some lotion to them. So maybe you could try that. I saw lots of reviews on those. But I didn't even know NYX had a new foundation. I'm I'm totally a drugstore foundation girl. Because I have yet to find one. See here I go. I've yet to find one. A higher price one that I like. These eyelashes block where I can't even tell where I'm putting the eyeliner. 
anyway, what I was saying is, um, I mean, I've tried most. The only one that I, I know I'm going to still try, and I have to do it on Beautylish on payments because it's too expensive, but I would like to try the, um, the combination of the Vanish, um, Vanish stick by Hourglass and, uh, with their new veil powder. But it's super expensive and the only way I'm getting it is to pay it out on payments. Okay, great. Right on. That's nice to have something to do and someone to talk to while you're washing brushes because I don't know about you, but that's my least favorite thing to do. Thank you so much, you guys. I kind of like it. I don't know. I feel weird like I'm going to school looking crazy, but oh well. Maybe nobody will be there. No, I have not. And remember you scolded me because I had never tried Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's another one that is on my list to try. But I would like to try that. I need to go. The problem, Shannon, is that our Ulta doesn't give samples. And Sephora is an hour and a half away. And I only go to Sephora once a year, really. So, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I totally multitask everything. Like, I use I use lip or liquid lips for eyeliner. Like, just because it's meant to be used for one thing or the other, like, I don't care. Like, don't tell me how to live my life. Like, Coffee Break with Danny said, don't try, don't tell me how to live my life. It was so great to see you, Dana. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you. Don't, don't be a stranger. I really want to keep in touch with you, okay? And I'm putting all my brushes back in the holder like a good girl. And once I... Okay. I think my nearest counter is going to be out of, out of town. But I'll have to do a search on... I'll just put, you know, into Google and see if we have one. We have Belk. That's about the only like prestige that has like prestige makeups and, and, and perfumes. Do you have any idea if, if Belk carries Lancome? I know they carry like Estee Lauder and um, most of those higher end type products, but I don't know. I'll just have to do that's the only like place in our town that I think or in our nearby town that I think would even have a chance of carrying that. And so at the counter, they will give me a 10-day supply. And will they color match me? I'm assuming. Oh, wow. Okay. So I bet you mine has that then. Then I will do that. I will totally do that. I will probably do that on Friday because I'll be in, I'll be in town. Because I actually don't live in that town. It's just a nearby one where I was raised. But I will... Um, I'll go do that on Friday. My friend Becky can come and she can get one too. And tell me, tell me one more time how to spell it so I can write it down so I don't look like an idiot and say, can I have that tainted, tainted ideally, please? I don't want to make a fool of myself because I would never, like you must know how to say everything correctly now. I would never say those things right. Yes, tell me how to spell it. So, just a sneak peek, you guys. I did a review of this Fantasia by Bad Habit. I have a first impressions of the Norvina coming up when Courtney gets her collab done. Okay, I've got to write this. T-E-R-I-N-T. -E Don't go away. T-E-I-N-T-E. -E. Is it Taint Edol? Taint Taint. Taint Idol. Idol. And 24 hour. Okay. And I got Atlantis, which I haven't used yet, but I already have these two. I already have these two filmed. So those are coming soon. I have to film with this Atlantis palette. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> so pretty. And then I got the two um, after. Taunt. Okay, Taunt. Is it E-Doll? 
or edol. Edol, edol, taunt, edol. Um, these are the additions to the after series. This is after charge and after glow. And I haven't filmed these yet, but how pretty is that for summer? I'm getting ready to do a collab with a big group of ladies, and we're doing um, that after uh, glow one will be in that video. So, okay, eat all. Taunt, eat all. Taunt, eat all. You guys know that it takes six repetitions before your brain hangs on to something into its muscle memory. Taunt, eat all. Taunt, eat all. May I have a 10-day sample of the Taunt e doll 24-hour, please? And will you color match me for that, please? Okay, beautiful long home woman, thank you so much. My good friend Shannon Bidgood told me that you would give me a 10-day sample of Taunt e doll. I said it. I got it. I wrote it down phonetically. <laughs> I just, you know... Nothing sounds more awkward than an oaky with a total slang, slang, twang trying to say something in French. Like, seriously, I took French for, that is French, right? I took French for one semester. I'm like, oh, no, no, that's not for me. And then Spanish, oh, no, that's not for me either. Anyways, I can listen to Spanish. I took it so I like to four semesters in college. I can listen to it and I can hear what people are saying. I understand what they're saying. But I have a really hard time talking back. They will. And I bet you they have Estee Lauder at Belk too. So maybe I just do it. Kill two birds with one stone. What do you think? I knew it was. But I didn't want to make an assumption. What was I just going to do? I was going to add something to my face, and I need to add nothing to my face, you guys. And I was getting ready to, and now I can't even remember what it was. So that's a good thing, probably. I'm being a good girl. I'm putting everything away, back away. And I'm putting Velvet Teddy where she goes, so that whenever it's time for me to find her, I will know where she is. And yes, Velvet Teddy is a girl, in case you didn't know. So, for those of you that weren't here when I said this earlier, I am 97.5% sure that I'm going to do my 1K giveaway like description, showing you all the products and showing you what's going to be in it and showing you what's in each group. I am really confident that sometime before the end of next week, like in the next 10 days, I'm going to do a live stream and I'm going to show all the products and I'm going to announce it and then like people are going to have like 24 hours to do what I ask them to do, which is going to be super easy and right there on that chat and then I'm going to get that stuff, I'm going to do the drawing and get that stuff sent. I am ready for that to be done. I love Touch of Spice. In fact, mine went MIA for a really, really long time. And whenever I was doing all this revamping in my beauty area, I found it again. And I feel like I've been reunited with my best friend. But you know what my very favorite um, creamy matte from, from Maybelline is? Almond Rose. But you guys know I'm like totally a pinky new girl. Thank you, Terry Lee. Lots of love to you. But how pretty is this shade? Oh, it's my favorite. But I just love the Creamy Mattes by Maybelline, period. I so enjoyed seeing you. Okay, I have a question before I knock this flipping camera over again, because I need to go. But, Ellie, are you subscribed to my channel? Or did you just happen to come into this live stream randomly because you saw it? on YouTube because I just wonder if we've spoken before or if we haven't like I don't want to lose track of you after this live stream I want you to to subscribe to me and stick around so that you can be part of what, what we're doing I don't like to make friends and then never see them again okay 
I'm done messing with my Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I appreciate it so much. And I really look forward to getting to know you better. Thank you so much for being on this live. And thank you to all of you for coming. It was so nice to catch up with you guys. You guys are my people. I was saying this earlier and I didn't even finish. That's my problem is I start a subject and I don't finish it. Um, you guys are my people. Because you understand, like, what I do, like, what I'm talking about, like, going to school like this, like, you get it. <laughs> you understand that even though it is crazy to everybody else in the world, it's not, like, you get it. And then I need to take pictures, so I gotta take the back off. Um, so, I like it that other people get it and they understand my, my kind of crazy. So, thank you for being my kind of crazy. Isn't that a nice compliment? But yes, I need to get out of here. It is 2 o'clock and I need 3 hours in my classroom. So that puts me there at 5. It puts me at my mom's at 5.30. And so yeah, we're getting up into the evening time. And I don't want to be out all day. So I appreciate you guys so much being here. And um, be looking for a, a live to come. Be looking for, like, don't don't sleep on my lives. And if you if you miss it, then check, you know, come and check. I'll put whatever's important in the description box, too, so if you miss it. I'm not trying to be all shady or, or trying to make it confusing to understand. I just don't want an influx of a bunch of people who aren't really interested in my content to be subscribing and being all trying to get involved. Um, you know what, Ellie? I ordinarily do. I have been very sporadic this summer because I'm off work and I've had some out-of-town stuff, but... If I'm being honest, <laughs> a lot of the reason why I haven't been on live much is because every time <clears throat> I started to come on live, um, there would be somebody else that is sort of part of the group that frequents my channel. We frequent each other's channels. Like, there would already be somebody on. And so now I'm getting to the point where, like, if I don't go on just because somebody else that I know is on, I'm never going to go on. Um, I really thought over the summer that I would be going on regularly, just popping on like I did today and, and checking, you know, just having a chat with people or just say, hey, this new thing came, let's talk about it. Or, But I haven't done that at all. And I really intended to, and I really hope for the next three weeks I'll pop on more often. But to answer your question, generally my, my live stream is on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I have not adhered to that because of what I just discussed. But... There are so many of us that I'm just going to have to stop saying I don't want to interfere with anybody else's time and say I have this I have this time that's available for me to do this and if I keep letting other people being on there keep me from doing it I'm never going to do it. So starting probably not until I get back into school but once I get back into school it will be an every Wednesday night thing. So Okay, Shannon, you're so awesome. So I please do that and, if, and make a comment afterwards. That would be great, too. I will put all my info in the info box once I get back home later tonight. When I do a live, I do go back in and put my information that I always have in my info box. But if there's anything that you want to know about me, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my um, Instagram, my Facebook page, my Facebook beauty group, if you want any of the information in, in my regular uploaded videos is always in the info box. Um, and for those of you that are new that don't know this, I consistently upload on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I have been doing some collabs, so those are going up, you know, I'm, I'm like compromising with the other person's upload schedule, and so I've had some sporadically just thrown in on a Sunday or a Saturday. Thank you. And so, um, but on Tuesday, Thursday, and, and Saturday, there will be a new video from me, and whenever I get back on my normal schedule, I will have live streams on Wednesday evenings at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So, all that being said, you guys, I have to get out of here. Thank you so much. I had so much fun talking to you guys. Thank you for talking me through what I should do with my face. I do think it's super pretty. So, I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to take about 400 selfies real quick. Go put on some clothes that I don't care if they get messed up. And, um, actually, I don't care if this gets messed up, but, like, I need to put on some lower half and some shoes. 
and then I'm going to get out of here. So you guys have a wonderful day. It was so nice talking to you. And Shannon, you and I need to learn how to Snapchat each other. That's what we need to do. I'm going to start Snapchatting you. I'm going to start snapping you. And you're going to get so sick of me. But we, you and I need to like stay in contact because we share like the same makeup brain. So we need to be talking to each other on a daily basis. I really do believe that. All right. I love you guys so much. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys.